Hi everybody, Dr. Gibson checking in here from Tokyo. We're going to have a great seminar today. We're going to talk a lot about telomeres. You know, we've discovered that telomeres are the secret to aging and disease. And a lot of these different problems that we blame on various factors come down to the damage that we are causing to our telomeres. Now telomeres are on the tips of your chromosomes. Think of them like the little ends of a shoelace, the aglet that protects the shoelace from unraveling. And in the same fashion, these telomeres are protecting our DNA. And every time a cell divides, these telomeres get shorter. And some critical information may be lost. And the shorter they get, the more damage and disease we can have happen to us. And thus we see the signs of aging appear and disease appear as this critical information is lost from our DNA. Now, the environment that we create in our body and our cells by the foods we eat, the toxins that we're exposed to through the environment and through our food are what's responsible for dictating a lot of how these telomeres, how fast they shorten, how fast they degenerate, or on the opposite side, if we're putting a lot of good food into the body, we're avoiding a lot of these toxins, we can actually not only slow down the shortening of the telomeres, slow down the uh, age-related processes, we can actually reverse some of this shortening. Some of the other things that are going to affect this are how we think. How we think dramatically affects this chemical soup that we're creating in the body, this environment that we're creating. So remember, there's no such thing as an innocent thought. For good or for bad, every thought we think creates chemicals. There's these chemical reactions going on with every emotion we feel, every thought we think. And the predominant chemical nature of stress, anxiety, and some of these other chemicals that we're dumping out into the body when we have those emotions and thoughts are going to be very damaging to our DNA, very damaging to our telomeres and other genetic material. When we look at epigenetics and how our body can both sequester and shut off some of these damaged genes as well as turn on ones that are going to enhance our life. We want to ensure that we are not only eating the best foods we can, avoiding the garbage, but thinking the best thoughts we can. We need to create a very positive, optimistic way, low stress way of viewing the world and handling our problems so that we don't create this internal degeneration from our own thoughts, even if we eat good and it really does matter for those of you that are the high stress intense anxiety people that worry about everything think about this you may be shortening your lifespan by as much as four to five decades even if you eat good and even if you exercise because of the damage that you're causing through the chemicals that are dumped every time you think and feel these stressful anxiety type emotions and you're dumping a very strong amount of neurotransmitters into the body and stress hormones that are damaging. So we want to eat better, think better, avoid the garbage, and live longer, live happier, and have a real purpose and meaning to our life. Thank you, everybody. I hope to see you at the seminar today. And if not, we'll catch you next time. Bye.